moving on from there, the Miami Dolphins. They went 10-6 and six last year. Surprise team. Everything looks good under Brian Flores. Um, you know, they have some needs. Obviously, this is a young team. Uh, still not sure what they were doing by cutting Kyle Van Noy, but um, okay, you know, I mean, if, if you got a plan, why not stick to it? You know, they they cut him, and they uh, and, and basically the Patriots pick him up for like a bag of chips, as Chris would say. But uh, but they needed tackle help. They needed wide receiver help, center, running back, cornerback. And uh, honestly, what I'm seeing looks pretty good. Here's what they did in the draft. In the first round, they had two picks. They got Jalen Waddell at number six out of Alabama wide receiver, edge rusher Jalen Phillips out of Miami, Florida. Uh, they, Number one or two as far as edge rushers go, and I think that that was a really good pick. Uh, second round, they got safety Javon Holland out of Oregon. Again, stud player, can make plays. Uh, offensive tackle Liam Eichenberg out of Notre Dame in the second round as well. Uh, he's an offensive tackle. Tight end Hunter Long out of Boston College. And don't sleep on this kid. He was used <laughs> a lot at Boston College, but obviously if you're playing football at Boston College, not a lot of people are going to know your name. This guy can absolutely play. He's uh, he's going to be a stud for them. They got him in the third round. And then you had two seventh rounders to take flyers on. Larnell Coleman, offensive tackle out of Massachusetts. Not going to lie, I got no idea who this kid is. And uh, Jared Dokes, running back out of Cincinnati in the seventh round. Um, yeah, I'm a fan of this. I, I, think, I think the yeah. Dolphins are showing that they are a well-run organization again. They really are, and you just got to be so excited if you're a Dolphins fan and seeing how this has turned around since that pile of uselessness Adam Gase left the team. And they they knocked it out of the park. I love that first round. Jalen Waddle's going to fit beautifully with what Tua does, and of course they have a rapport together. Phillips, you know, you, you're right, the first or second best pass rusher in the draft. That defense was already really good last year for Miami. Love the Liam Eikenberg pick. Bring in, again, we talk about it, bring in those Notre Dame offensive linemen, protect Tua. They signed Will Fuller in free agency, so now Tua's going to have a full complement. You know, you'll have Will Fuller for about four games until he gets hurt, unless he's doing <laughs> steroids again. And you'll have Devontae Parker for about eight games until his – Yep. His hamstring is pulled, and hopefully Jalen Waddle will stay healthy there. And uh, Mike Kosicki. So I, I like what the Dolphins did. I thought they did a fantastic job, and they just continue to knock it out of the park year after year. And, you know, of course, they can thank Bill O'Brien for that because they're going to have assets up the wazoo for that uh, trade of uh, Laramie Tunsil, and uh, that is what it is. And uh, all the Houston fans can look at Miami and see what could have been and look what Miami is and be heartbroken. Love what the Dolphins did. Team on the rise. Another team that has have a soft spot for it because, you know, Dan Marino, that's who I wanted to be when I was a kid. So uh, <laughs> this is the last year that they have all the extra assets from Houston, though, right? Like, they're right. done yes. I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. Merit. No free picks. Um, Brian Flores and those guys seem to be doing an unbelievable job there. I, I like what they yeah. did. I think they've got a lot of talent. Um, I'm curious to see how it actually plays out on the field. Uh, they they just – watching them play football every week looks like a struggle, okay? Mm -hmm. They play bad teams badly, and they play good teams well. And it's really strange. They don't beat anybody really bad, and, and they kind of always look like they're struggling to get first downs offensively. Um, it, it, they play tough, hard-nosed defensive football, and they're tough to score on. I just wonder at what point in time that's going to change. They just all, it doesn't matter who the quarterback is always look like they're having hard times getting first. Downs. Yeah, I agree. Well, you're right. You're right. hundred uh, percent right. The, the GM for them. And Chris no Ryan Fitzpatrick to save them this year when they, when they can't yeah, throw the ball. So agree. Tua's going to have to evolve and play better. And I, mean, a lot I, of pressure I, I specifically think Jacoby Brissett went there because he thinks he can play there. I think he mm -hmm. went there mm -hmm. over staying in Indy as a free agent because he, he feels like I got a shot to play here. I can buy that. Uh, Chris Greer is the GM there, by the way. Uh, this guy yeah. is a wheeling, dealing son of a gun. Like, he is, yeah. he has made super smart moves. Um, you know, was the director of college scouting all the way up until 2015 and took over as general manager in 2016. He's only worked two places, uh, with the Dolphins and with the Patriots. And, and he did go. most of it in scouting, but since he's been made general manager, man, they have made some good moves. Um, I mean, I'm a fan of what they're doing. Fan well, of I mean, what they're doing. Well, when you can fleece Bill O'Brien, I mean, that's yeah. that's kind of like stealing, though. I feel like <laughs> I feel like more people should have been able to do it. The fact that like uh, an organization that hired Cliff Kingsbury and the Dolphins were able to do it, um, I feel like 
I feel like other guys. Yeah, should a have lot of other that. people could have done it. Uh, other people overthought mm-hmm. it. They were like, wait, wait, wait. There's there's a catch here in there. There's something right. going on with this Hopkins trade. What's up? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> so yeah, exactly. That's that had to be what was up because I, I cannot believe that Hopkins didn't end up in in New England for uh, for a second yeah. round. Well, pick they were now. gonna. They made it clear they weren't gonna trade him in divi- in in conference. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's basically suppose. fleecing Bill O'Brien's like winning like the spelling bee at the Special Olympics, you know, for one of us. That's basically <laughs> what happened there. Do they have? I don't. I don't even know if that exists. Yeah, that's an iffy joke. It's real that's, iffy. But you know what? Real iffy. This I country laughed, is but... so pussified lately. It's time to toughen up and get over ourselves. I've had enough of it. Participation trophies in every damn sport. Like, don't make a joke about this. That. Oh, shut the hell up. Let's rock and roll. It's time to <laughs> toughen up, America. We're silly. That's why China's gonna pass us because we're silly and weak. Yes. Time to toughen up. I love it. I. Love it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.